good day. There are mods, and then there are mods. Mods so amazing that they could be, and should be, their own games. Very few developers will actually capitalize on the community. Now, of course, Valve is well known for capitalizing on their community, purchasing Counter-Strike and Gunman Chronicles. Id Software also picked up a couple of Doom wads and created Final Doom. But these days, most developers do not do such things. Sergeant Mark IV is well known for creating Brutal Doom, an absolutely amazing gameplay enhancement wad that pretty much reinvigorated the Doom community. Now, of course, there have been many lies told about Sergeant Mark IV, and, well, after doing some research recently, they've all been pretty much debunked. Now, he also worked on another project, Hell on Earth Starter Pack, which is what we are going to be taking a look at today. The Hell on Earth Starter Pack is essentially the campaign for Brutal Doom, and is a 32-level megawad that remakes both Doom 1 and Doom 2, and is split into three episodes. The levels are absolutely amazing, to say the least. Everything is up with modern standards, and it looks like you're actually fighting through real locations. That's one of the minor issues with Doom 1 and Doom 2. None of the levels look like real places, they all have a very abstract look to them. And while back in the 90s this wasn't a problem, today it makes them look a little bit dated. Now, when Hell on Earth Starter Pack was released, there was a new revision of Brutal Doom released as well. Brutal Doom version 20B. V20B adds a few balanced tweaks and fixes the assault rifle once again, and gives it a new sighting arrangement along the top with a Picatinny rail. Sergeant Mark IV has updated that bloody assault rifle more than the AR-15! The rest of the weapons appear to be more or less the same, although the shotgun's sling no longer flops all over the place. The enemies as well appear to be more or less the same, with a few minor behavior tweaks as well. Really, to be honest, I find it somewhat difficult to spot the various changes between V20 and V20B, but whatever the case may be, brutal doom of any sort is brutal enough for me. The Hell on Earth starter pack can of course work with Project Brutality, and it works quite well with it indeed. The levels are quite complex and multi-tiered, and there are numerous little details to be found throughout, and it is also cool to see some Duke Nukem textures here and there as well. None of the levels go on over long, nor do they suffer from where in the name of Talos do I go syndrome that so many advanced Doom wads suffer from. Everything is nice and straightforward, and you can always keep up the punishment on the foul demons. Another cool thing is that some of the environment is destructible, such as toilets and fire extinguishers. The levels also have a great deal going on in them and make a great deal of logical sense. And you can actually find destroyed barricades, and you can even have scripted events trigger, such as these imps jumping through a window. Scripted events, such as the imps jumping through a window, might not seem like a big deal, but you gotta remember, Doom is a 90s FPS, where such things were simply impossible when it was first released. Now, it has fucking scripting that's on par with a modern game. Music for the mod is absolutely amazing as well, with the tracks all being heavy based metal, and for heavy metal, we shall die. Now, not all the tracks are Doom remixes. In fact, many are actually from other games, most notably Quake 2. And well, I fanboy squeed a bit at playing Brutal Doom with a Quake 2 soundtrack. really top a Doom game with a Quake 2 soundtrack? The mod also adds Doom 3 styled radio transmissions that will give you mission objectives, which like everything else in the mod is pretty fucking cool. The difficulty for the game is tough but fair to a point. There are enough enemies in the game to make it a challenge and it is great fun to wade through hundreds of imps and zombie men. However, unfortunately enough, the game does have its share of bullshit moments. I will leave you to find the vast majority of them yourself, but I will point out the first bullshit moment I ran into. You have to climb inside a nuke reactor to retrieve a red keycard, because it's always a red keycard. And when you climb in there, you constantly take radiation damage. But there is no rad suit that I could find prior to climbing in there, meaning you have to fight the various enemies in the reactor and then quickly get the key card before dying due to radiation. Bullshit indeed. 
Really though, the bullshit moments in the WAD do not get angry enough to make you want to delete the bloody game. And really, you just have to save early and often to overcome them. Interestingly enough, the game does have a considerable amount of story moments as well, and all the various text screens have been updated and actually expanded to the point where they're not just goofy, and instead actually are quite cool to say the least. Now it's not like there are a bunch of cutscenes or anything like that, and really as you would expect from Doom, the brutal Doom guy does not really talk outside of taunts. And the story is told Half-Life style, but there are moments in the game that make you just want to shout out FUCK YEAH! Really, that has got to be one of the most epic moments in Doom in general. The Charge of the Marines, when I first played it, just absolutely floored me with its awesomeness. This is something that I would like to see a lot more of. After the epic Charge of the Marines, you, Brutal Doom guy, must face two Bellafors. These guys are a lot tougher than the ones in Project Brutality, and their plasma shots do a considerable amount of damage, including splash damage. This is an epic boss fight that will piss you off, but like with the mod itself, will leave you quite satisfied indeed. And what I have shown thus far is but a tiny fraction of what Brutal Doom Hell on Earth Starter Pack represents. This thing bloody starts and finishes the battle to be one of the greatest level wads of all time, and is definitely one for the ages. Now while Sergeant Mark IV may have all these lies against him, I will not stop being his fan just because somebody said at some point that he was evil. And so, I am General Oz, wishing you good Dark Seven, and good Par, or whatever makes you happy. If you enjoyed my review of Hell on Earth Starter Pack, please consider subscribing, and if you can, please consider supporting me on Patreon so that I can continue to bring you these great WAD reviews.